I love this project because it was to me the real intersection between science and engineering. Um, exciting research that led to one finding, the next applications and finally the realization of the real materials for practical uses. And that to me is in a way the core of scientific research and academic freedom. So we really started off trying to create synthetic woods. We discovered that the addition of these uh, synthetic components, like carbon nanotubes, would make woods in addition more electrically conductive. Uh, eventually we pursued the question of what makes these woods, or these synthetic woods, temperature sensitive, and we discovered pectin. Pectin, it's a double-stranded molecule, and it contains calcium ions. As the temperature increases, this molecule, in a way, unzips, like the zipper of a jacket, releasing uh, ions, or better yet, increasing their motility. When we fabricated these pectin thin films by creating a hydrogel of pectin and then drying out the hydrogel, we realized that the properties of the responsivity to temperature changes were record-breaking. We started looking in the natural universe to say what other biological systems actually have similar temperature sensitivity, and we encountered the pit vipers. Uh, pit vipers are known to have an organ called the, the pit organ, which is a effectively an organic membrane that snakes use to detect uh, prey at a distance when they hunt at night. This membrane is nothing else than an organic layer. It has receptors, which are effectively ion channels that can open when temperature increases, allowing calcium ions to pass through and communicate with the neural systems and the brain of the snake. We saw that not only we could mimic the performance of pit viper snakes, but in fact, in the temperature changes tested, we could surpass it. So in future research, we're very interested in exploring the potential of these uh, synthetic organic films uh, into applications. And I think the most obvious one to pursue is to augment robotic sensitivities to the environment, or even to improve, for example, human-robot interactions by allowing robots to sense temperatures either by touch or by proximity. I think the more exciting applications uh, could be pursued in the biomedical area, where uh, synthetic skins could be used, for example, in smart prosthetics or uh, in uh, patches for wound healing. And lastly, for example, in consumer electronics, where organic layers could be a cheap alternative to uh, the semiconductor approach. The most important thing we learned uh, from this project has been that uh, learning fundamental mechanisms from nature and extractive the active molecules. It's something we can capitalize on uh, in material science because the isolation of these active molecules allow us to create materials that have unprecedented and extreme properties. <laughs>